The past few weeks I've experimented quite a bit with Midjourney and Ali. Both AI systems can create great images, so even if you have access to only one of them, you're good. You can still produce gorgeous sketches for your work. I prefer Dali over Midjourney, mainly because I can easily art direct the final image, but I never got the chance to compare the two side by side. That's about to change. Today, we'll find out how these two AI systems stack against each other. But don't think of it as a competition. I have no horse in the race and I'm not really interested in crowning a winner. This whole test is meant more as a fun experiment, trying to figure out what makes the Lee and Midjourney tick and how these different systems interpret natural language. So let's dive in. Delhi and Midjourney are completely different systems, so certain words that might trigger a specific action for Delhi might not do the same thing in Midjourney, and the other way around. I will try to stick to the same prompts as much as possible, but if I see a problem, I will deviate a little bit just so both systems have a fair chance. So let's start with the first prompt. Dali is off to a great start. I love the poses of the characters, the mood, and lighting. <laughs> the fourth image is definitely not the best, but images two and three make up for that. Dali's more photographic approach and attention to detail when it comes to poses and lighting will always lead to beautiful images. Midjourney, on the other hand, leans a bit too heavily on the 2D hand-drawn style. The images, while pleasing, they're nothing to write home about. They're a bit too static. That mainly has to do with the angle of this shot. It's just a head-on frontal view. Midjourney is not too adventurous when it comes to angles and overall composition. It's something I've noticed before with the earlier versions of Midjourney. I was hoping that by now things would have improved, but it looks like not much has changed. But one thing that has changed is Midjourney's ability to draw faces. A few weeks ago, most results involving humans and faces would have led to some incredibly unsettling results. But now, it looks like things have improved immensely. Unfortunately, Midjourney's comprehension when it comes to understanding language is still a bit iffy. It doesn't seem to get that the words dark, gray only apply to the background and not the complete image. So that means we have to adjust the prompt a tiny bit. You can imagine my surprise when I got back these results. For some reason, the images are still black and white, or to be more accurate, sepia. Midjourney just doesn't want to let go of the monochromatic images, but I'm stubborn. I want to see some color here, so I modify the prompt even further by taking out the words strong shadows. And finally, we do get a hint of color. It's nothing too excessive, but I'll take it. If we now compare the best images out of both engines, it's clear that Dali is doing a much better job here. The composition is better, the lighting overall is better, and most importantly, the AI actually understood and followed the text prompt. Midjourney's strong suit is illustration, so in theory, this prompt will be a great fit. If you recall, I've used this one before when I tested out Dali. The results I got back were really good, but I decided to run the prompt once more just to see if I would get something different. But from the looks of it, the new images are very similar to the old ones. The fourth image is my favorite, and you can see why. It's very nicely composed, the forms and placement of objects is very pleasing, and the color palette is on point. I can easily visualize how to bring this image to life if I redo everything in 3D. Midjourney's images are not bad, but they do have some issues. The main problem is the fact that the images don't follow the prompt. Only one of them has a lollipop, and all others have just the house and some bright colors. The images also lack magic and any hint of happiness. <laughs> they look more like a depressed artist's interpretation of a happy image. I know I'm being a bit harsh here, but it's true. Midjourney's images are a bit more dark and moody than they have to. The color palette looks vivid, but there are still so many dark tones in there. 
The images look nice if we completely disregard the prompt, but once we take the prompt into account, then the images are not doing such a great job. I was definitely expecting some more playful and cheerful images, similar to the ones from Dali. Knowing how fussy mid-journey can be, I decided to adjust the prompt a tiny bit, just so it has a better chance of delivering the expected image. But once more, Midjourney had other plans. I'm sure there's a combination of words that can convince Midjourney to spit out a happy image, but so far I haven't found them. No matter how many times I tweaked the prompt, the results were always the same. Dark, moody images that very loosely follow the prompt. So I think it's fair to say that this one goes to Dali. Again. Given how good Midjourney is with moody images, I decided to use a prompt that has the potential to create something dark and cinematic. Dali is once more on point. The AI is doing a great job following the prompt. The framing on all images is very cinematic, and it's further helped along by the dramatic lighting. The hands and the watch are not rendered to perfection, but they're great as rough sketches, something to get the idea across. Now on to Midjourney. Even though Midjourney is great with dark and moody images, it also has some issues with the main subject of the prompt, hands. The last time I tried rendering hands with Midjourney, <laughs> the system failed miserably. But that was a couple of weeks ago, so my hope is that this is fixed in this most recent update. Unfortunately, this is not the case, we're still in nightmare fuel territory. Midjourney is not only bad at drawing hands, but it's also not successful in decoding the prompt. I think the second image is Midjourney trying to portray hand holding, even though that's not what the prompt was about. I asked for a hand holding a watch, and not hand holding. Reducing the prompt to the bare minimum didn't really improve things, it might have even made things worse. Now even the watch doesn't look like what it's supposed to, it looks more like a futuristic steampunk watch and not an actual retro style watch. In comparison, here's how the lead deals with the exact same prompt. That is the kind of result I would have expected from the prompt. It might not be the best looking set of images, but Ali is so easy to art direct that a better image is just an edit away. Dali is doing a great job delivering images that closely follow the prompt. It also does a great job rendering the objects correctly. Midjourney, on the other hand, is very tough to direct, it doesn't always understand what the user is going for, and the final product is one note. I was determined to get something good out of Midjourney, and finally I got it with this one. Vague and surreal prompts are Midjourney's strong suit, so a prompt like this one is a perfect fit. The images are the typical Midjourney output, moody and with a limited color palette, but at least this time the images actually fit the text description. I find the idea of having a character without a face a very smart choice, it's definitely one of my favorite images of the bunch. What took me by surprise though was how Midjourney and Dali chose to interpret the prompt. Both AIs use female characters as the focal point of the image. I find that very interesting. Unfortunately, Dali's output looks like images you can find on cheap stock photo websites. Everything looks bland, generic, and cheap. But that's where the power of Dali comes in. Just by adjusting the prompt a tiny bit, we can get infinitely better results. This one in particular I like a lot. Even though the rendering of the character is a mistake, I feel it adds to the image. It looks like a multiple exposure type of image, with the character moving her head back and forth as she's wallowing in her sadness. This prompt definitely goes to Midjourney. Even though I expected more abstract results, the AI still managed to produce some interesting images. But now I need to find out why both AIs picked a female character to visualize the prompt. I would love it if any of the developers could shed some more light on it. This is another prompt that can do really well in Midjourney. These type of open-ended prompts are Midjourney's bread and butter, so I'm sure we'll get back something great. 
Delhi, I think, will have a harder time here. As expected, Midjourney's images are beautiful. All of them have nice, vibrant colors and great atmosphere. My one comment would be that the whole magic aspect of the prompt is limited to the colors of the sky and not the actual buildings. I would have liked to see something more there, but I'm willing to give the images a pass. Now on to Dali's images. The AI here tried to stick too much to realism, and as a result, the images are nothing special. All of them look like long exposure shots of cities around the world. But by tweaking the prompt just a little bit, we get a completely different result. Now these are images I can get behind. And I would say in this case, Dali is doing a much better job because it actually tries to stick to the prompt. It's not only relying on vibrant sky colors, it actually tries to construct some imaginary buildings. I would call this one a tie. Both AIs did a great job here. Midjourney has a slight edge because I didn't have to modify the prompt at all, but they both have some strong images. Before doing this side-by-side -side comparison, I knew that Dali is a much more art-directable system. It's very easy to adjust and easy to get close to what's in your head. And seeing the results side-by-side -side further solidified my opinion. Midjourney is very unpredictable. I like the fact that we can get these happy accidents, but at some point you need to have a tool that can be controlled. In my opinion, Midjourney is a little bit too random and not that great at understanding natural language. I'm sure that if I gave it a little bit more time, I would be able to tame part of this randomness, but it's not like this is my first time with Midjourney. I'm already clocking in multiple hours. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the results in the comments below. Which one do you prefer, Dali or Midjourney? I would be really interested to hear your preference. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.